Hello, I'm Dr. Cat and I play Dr. Cat. Hello there, uh, my name is John Gregor and I play King John. Hello, I'm Simon Kirk and I play William the Conqueror. Uh, hi, yes, my name is Tom and I am playing uh, Prince Harry or, or not Prince Harry. Hello, I'm Richard Evans. I play Edward VII. I'm Richard de Winter. Uh, I play uh, Philip II. Hello, everyone. I, I'm William Harry Mitchell and I play Henry VIII. Hello. Hello. Um, my name is Nadia Devereaux. My name is Joshua Poole. And we are the creators of Monarchs Anonymous. Monarchs Anonymous is a historical sitcom that takes uh, a group of monarchs and royals and puts them in a rigorous therapy session hosted by Dr. Cat. They really enjoy Monarchs Anonymous. I think it's a cracking idea uh, bringing monarchs into a therapy room. I hope it goes on and we do more of it. In one word, brilliant is the opportunity to do what we were doing um, at all the historic palaces, again, uh, in the best format that I think is available right now. So it's great. So Monarchs Anonymous is, I think, hilarious. Uh, it's brilliant, it's just a bit of silliness, which is kind of what we need now. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what it ends up being in the future. Monarchs Anonymous, I think, is brilliant because it's just a roller coaster through history and it's great fun to make. It's great fun. Uh, and uh, I, I think it's an amazing show, and I hope that you all love it as well. Monarchs Anonymous, uh, easy for me to say, is almost like a great history docu-series crossed with like a behind the scenes look at one of those like Amazon um, series where they go behind the scenes at a really successful sports team. Um, so I think it's something like that where a really successful sports team shows what's going on behind the scenes. You see all the great ins and outs. So that's what it is to me, so uh, cheers. I've been a professional actor for about 30 year, odd, odd years, haven't I, Will? Yeah, 30 years too long! Uh, it's been wonderful doing this uh, with uh, people that I used to work with at Historic Royal Palaces over the last many years. I also wrote the music for the sort of the, the theme tune. For the thing. I'm, I'm an actor, singer, musician. I've uh, been doing uh, acting in historical interpretation doing quite a lot of Shakespeare as well. I've been an actor for about 30 years and uh, I run my own theatre company that does historical stuff and this is a hippo. If you enjoyed seeing me here then you might also want to come over to my other YouTube channel Reading the Past, shameless plug there. So during lockdown, um, Joshua and I, uh, we are isolating together, which is why I can touch him like this. Um, we were isolating together and in the first week I was getting, you know, fidgety and I thought I just can't sit still. Uh, I want to be doing what I love to do and if I can't do that in a palace, we're going to do it in our tiny, tiny little flat. <laughs> um, and so we bought some costumes and we started to do the characters which we have done together the most, which is Queen Victoria and Prince Albert. But we sort of wanted to do something with a group of us. We wanted to do something uh, recorded rather than rather than live. We couldn't we couldn't meet up. We couldn't uh, sort of do a play or something or meet up or a, or a short film. So we came up with the idea Just to, watch to have him shave. monarchs <laughs> in therapy on Zoom. We spoke to um, one of my best friends, who is Dr. Cat. Uh, no. <laughs> What do I say? She obviously knows a lot about YouTube. We didn't really know anything about it, to be honest, other than funny kind of cat videos. But I'd never really gone on there to make videos before. Uh, so she kind of talked us through it. Uh, and then we all got together on, uh, on a Facebook chat and started talking about what we wanted to do. So, uh, so that's how it came about. Uh, well, it originally started, uh, I wrote a, a script, but it wasn't a, a script of one episode or episode one. It was um, a long. Sort of, it was a long, <laughs> it was like a, a 30 minute short film uh, of this huge long session of different monarchs speaking to each other. You know, why don't we make it into a series um, to, to release on YouTube? 
we wrote it, rewrote it, and then we passed it over to the cast. Um, because obviously uh, they know their parts so well, they know their, uh, their history very well. Obviously we know history very well as well, but obviously for us it's a huge scope that we've got to, to write about and to know about. Then uh, we would take all the edits and then we would do more rewrites. Then we would rehearse it and then we would film it and then we would edit it all in the space of one week. Such a stupid idea. <laughs> <laughs> there were a couple of weeks where we thought we're not going to make the Tuesday deadline, but we always did. We always made the Tuesday deadline, so I hope you uh, appreciate that. <laughs> so we used the Zoom record feature. Um, which obviously you don't get the best quality video, but you do get a sort of charm of Zoom, which I think is very relatable to everyone who's been calling their family over lockdown um, and seeing all the separate faces up on the screen. And also that gives us a really funny sort of vehicle to, to record stuff because you can see everyone at once and you can see everyone's individual reactions which I think is really good. Um, you can have Queen Victoria and Prince Albert accidentally pressing the mute button. You can use it, use it to make its own jokes kind of thing. But when we're filming it of course all we see is the webcam and the speaker view. We don't see the gallery view when we're recording it. We got a few shocks when we came to edit it because for example in the in the last episode um, part two of, of episode four, four thank you <laughs> we didn't realize that uh, Richard who plays Edward the seventh Bertie uh, pulled out a <laughs> shotgun as his weapon for the revolt I had no idea and then of course you get some <laughs> the downsides to zoom as well so uh, Richard de Winter, who plays uh, Philip II of Spain, who uh, is constantly offering everyone sympathy oranges and sympathy this and sympathy that. He wanted to have a virtual background and in the rehearsal it, it looked amazing. And then uh, on the day that we filmed it, it was one of the hottest days this summer, like it was so unbelievably hot. Um, and so we're all getting very hot, very uh, very sweaty, and uh, it took forever and a day because the virtual background was just doing all sorts of, of uh, interesting things. But it also just adds to the charm of Zoom as well. So uh, his eyes kept on disappearing. Yeah. And he was looked like he was hollow, <laughs> like there was nothing, literally nothing behind his eyes. You could just mm. see through his head. Oh, I was so chuffed at the end because obviously in our logo you've got Dr. Cat in the middle, surrounded by all the monarchs uh, and we can't control that uh, happening on Zoom um, uh, but in the final edit she comes uh, right in the middle, Dr. Cat is right in the middle surrounded by all the monarchs which is just exactly how we wanted it. I was inspired by Monty Python um, so I was very happy with the comment that somebody left below. <laughs> um, I am inspired by Horrible Histories. Uh, I just think the cast is just so good, so funny. Uh, the same cast obviously that do BBC Ghosts. I just think it's genius and so, yeah, yes. very funny. What can you expect from Series 2? Well, there is a lot more women which I am pleased to report, lots more uh, queens, uh, but not necessarily British queens either, so uh, yes, look forward to that. Um, there will be characters returning too, so don't worry, uh, King Henry VIII, he will be making a return, and a lot of our old cast as well, they'll be changing character. Yes, so, uh, yes, so okay. you will be seeing them in a different light. A lot of the characters that you have requested will be turning up. Now the reason that we are delayed in uh, filming series two is not because we've forgotten about you, or not because we don't want to do it anymore, it's, uh, it's actually a pretty wonderful, wonderful news, uh, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. If you have to Dr. Katz reading the past's YouTube page, uh, she will tell you herself. It's one of our featured channels, so if you uh, if you go onto our onto our channel page, you can find it there. Uh, yes, to go into season two, season and then three, three, and then four, and then five, four, and six, uh, and seven, and eight, and then who knows? BBC. <laughs> We'd love to turn it into a little show, um, an immersive show. Uh, a whole therapy session, basically. Live. Monarchs Live. Anonymous. 
love. Covid forgiving. Uh, first of all, we'd love to take it to Brighton Fringe, and then we'd love to take it to Edinburgh, and then who knows? But we need your help. If you do not subscribe to Monarchs Anonymous, please do, please. Because, because because more is coming, and you will be uh, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised by the angles we're going to take in the future. Uh, comment, like, share it with your friends. The other thing we're going to do is set up a GoFundMe page. So if you can spare anything. Uh, we'd love um, some donations to come in so that we can keep uh, making Monarchs Anonymous and making it bigger and better each time. We're going to put a link in the description, so click on that and donate anything you can. Uh, if you can't, as I say, just subscribe, like, share and uh, spread the word about Monarchs Anonymous. And I should add to that as well that uh, all the proceeds will be shared uh, between the actors who have done this uh, for free. Um, Angie Lowe, uh, who is uh, a fantastic virtual friend that we've made this year. She is the one who has done our logo. Um, she's also been a great friend to me and Josh uh, for our Victorian Albert adventures. She did a lot of our cartoons. And also Richard De Winter for uh, creating the, uh, the music. For Monarchs Anonymous the again, theme the theme song again, unpaid. Don't feel any pressure to do that at all. If you don't have anything, that's fine. Uh, we'll mostly love to have your support in subscribing and commenting. Uh, some of your comments have been out of this world. Yeah. The other thing that we wanted to mention is that if you want to be visited by any of the monarchs in Monarchs Anonymous, uh, we can do live Zoom sessions to teach you about history. Zoom through history, uh, live interactive historical education sessions uh, with historical characters. It's not just um, education stuff that we can offer. Uh, if you would like King Henry VIII at your birthday party, for example, uh, we can offer that too. I'm sure he'd be very pleased. <laughs> uh, and so all you need to do is go to our our parent company's website, which is Caridwen Theatre Company. Just go on there uh, and there will be a form which you can fill out. You could also have them uh, at a corporate event, perhaps you've got a work Christmas due coming up and you would like someone to appear on screen. And, um, and of course we do have a whole host of historical characters, so it's not just the cast in Monarchs Anonymous, it will be uh, the cast of Series 2 as well, so any historical character, you name it, we know somebody who can deliver it. Yes. Um, so yes, please do um, get in touch. Yes, you can leave a comment uh, below as well if you want to find out more. If you're a teacher, uh, you can also uh, get one of the historical characters for your for your classroom. Uh, we can do it at sc at your school, not just uh, for for people learning at home. Perhaps don't have Henry VIII at your wedding though. Yeah. He's not the best at um, keeping those vows. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank, you thank, thank you so much for watching for subscribing, for telling other people to watch it and to subscribe to it and for your lovely comments. We've just been met with such a, a lovely audience and so we couldn't have asked for a, a better kind of first time on YouTube. And because of that, we're now going to make more and more content and uh, we are listening as well. So in your comments when you have said what characters you would like to see, well, they are coming for you.